Yo, what's good? It is Homage, and you're watching Steezy. So I go by the name of Homage, and I first came up with that name when I was like really trying to understand the culture that I wanted to be a part of. Um, I was really digging deep into like old school hip hop and uh, the producers that inspired me. And I decided like, hey, if I'm gonna, if I wanna be a, a beat maker, if I wanna be a producer, this is what I wanna do with my life, then I wanna like add to the culture and I don't wanna take away from it. Like I wanna actually know what I'm talking about and like respect those people that came before me. And so um, that's kind of where the name came from. I, it just kind of came naturally, yeah. Honestly, when I when I think of lo-fi hip hop, I kind of think of uh, a really wide genre or a label for a genre that uh, you know, as a name, I feel like it only um, really became popular in the last couple of years, you know, four or five years, but really um, is in reference to like classic hip hop and uh, you know, LA beat culture, different things like that. It's hard to say, you know, like what is lo-fi, but when I think of lo-fi, I think of like classic hip hop, um, you know, real gritty textures. I think of sampled records. I think of out of the box thinking and an approach to like making beats. Honestly, there's a, there's a beat on my YouTube channel called Bang. It's honestly one of my favorite beats I've ever made. It doesn't have a ton of views. I don't even know if a lot of people know about it. Um, but the reason it's my favorite beat is because I, the way that I composed it was so different than I normally do. I think I used five or six different samples, different pieces, and kind of like combined them all. And the way it all came together was like super unique. And uh, every time I hear it, I'm like super, super happy about it. I just, um, I'm really proud of like the way that it all came together. I feel like if, if you're in like a beat block or you need some kind of like creative relief, watch something that you've watched like a hundred times and you love it every time you watch it. Cause then you're just gonna feel super relieved. For me, that's probably something like Lord of the Rings or like Pulp Fiction or something like that. <laughs> just something crazy. Three tips for, for new producers. That's, that's a good question. Um, I guess first, first and foremost, make what you wanna make. And don't just do what's true to you. Uh, if you're inspired by you know, old school hip hop, make old school hip hop. If you're inspired by trap music, make trap music. But whatever it is, don't try to fabricate what you're doing. Just make what you wanna make because five years down the road, you're gonna look back at what you made and you're gonna actually be happy with staying true to yourself versus like trying to make a sound because somebody said that that sound is popular. Um, whatever it is, stay true to yourself. The second thing is uh, study your inspirations. And what I mean by that is like really pick apart the, uh, the people that you look up to, the people, if something, if you're listening to something and it like hits you in your soul, like you feel it, then really study that and pick it apart. And I mean like really like listen to the whole discography, um, try to put yourself in that person's shoes and then move on to the next person. Because the reality is once you do that with three, four, five, six, you're gonna have all of these people who you've, you know, you've studied their work and next thing you know, you're taking bits and pieces of what you've learned from them and put it, you know, into your own craft. And then the last thing is just like, uh, work hard, be consistent, but have fun with it, honestly. Like, um, we all make music because it's fun, first and foremost, and, you know, it does something for us. And if people listen, then uh, it's a beautiful thing. And if they don't, that doesn't mean you're not good. It just means people haven't found you yet. So just keep going and, and have fun with it. I have a stack of records here uh, that I haven't touched yet. I think one of them I, I took a piece from. Um, and I'm just gonna go through and kind of listen uh, for different like little pieces, maybe loops, um, sound effects that I like that catch my ear. And then from there, once I have them all into Ableton, try to piece them together and uh, see if we can come up with something fire, so.
This one I bought a while ago and I haven't listened to it yet at all. <laughs> Dude, I, you know what this, this sounds really familiar. I feel like I've heard this sample somewhere. Bill Evans' album and Living Time, George Russell Orchestra. All right, so I went through, listened to some records, took some pieces of some stuff that uh, inspired me. And uh, so I have everything laid out here. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop it up and uh, lay some drums. I usually like to start with the drums, but sometimes I'll start with the sample. It really just mat doesn't really matter, but um, yeah, I think I'm going to start with some drums right now. So basically right now I have, I have the, um, the sound that I took from the Bill Evans record. Um, now I have it chopped up in the simpler and I'm basically looking for pieces, maybe chords or different uh, mel melodic uh, pieces that I want to um, you know, experiment around with and, and piece together to, to come up with something. Um, you know, for the beat. So it's, it's really all experimentation. Like I have no idea where this beat is going to go. It's just chopping, making, you know, uh, making chops and then playing around with the drums and, and piecing it all together. That's the sound everybody wants. Cool, so now that I have this loop basically as the basis for the beat, I'm gonna go back to the other stuff that I pulled and uh, look for, for some more pieces that I can combine in there and kind of uh, piece together. So this sound, this sound is actually really crazy. Um, I took it from that Brazilian record and it's just like a bird's chirping. Like obviously I could just go on YouTube and take this from like any YouTube video if I wanted to, but I think it's like, it's pretty cool that I found it on the record and was able to um, take that little snippet of the birds chirping and, and mix it into the background to give this, you know, that, that warm, organic, lo-fi feel. This is the hardest part, is trying to make everything sit properly. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Much love to Steezy for bringing me out, having, having an interview, made a quick little beat. If you guys wanna check out more of my music, you can find me on YouTube, just Homage Beats, on Spotify, Homage. Twitter, Instagram, the same, Homage Beats. Much love, say what's up, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.